In this week's video, I am in beautiful Poland and I am going to show you how you can create a fall reel using foliage and the beautiful scenery wherever you're located. To get started, you're going to need to collect some fall leaves. Walk around and find anything that catches your attention. You're looking for leaves that are different size, shape and color. You want to avoid anything that is too small because it's going to be hard for your camera to catch. So look for bigger leaves that are at least the size of your palm. Once you have your shot selected, switch your camera to slow-mo and then set it up by putting your hand with the leaf in front of it. So start recording, put your hand with your leaf and then drop the leaf. Make sure when you drop the leaf, you don't move your hand. So you've got your first one filmed. Now it's time to go around and find new leaves and new locations to shoot at. So let's get going. Where you are, you only have one type of tree. That's okay. What you're gonna look for is just different sizes and colors of the same leaf, because that could still look beautiful. Keep your leaf in your hand and then compare it to the rest and find something different. So I have this red one and Here's a beautiful yellow one. They're about the same size, so I'm going to want to try to find something a little bit smaller. So you can see this one is a lot smaller than this one, and if I compare it to the first one that I filmed, there's a lot of differences in them, so it's still going to present variety within my reel. When you're choosing a background, you don't want to choose a background where the leaf is going to blend into the background. You can see my shot here looks a lot different, and now when I put my leaf in, it's going to stand out more from the background so it's a better shot. Okay, so I have my camera all set up. I'm going to frame up my shot so it's something that I like. There we go. Um, because I'm using both hands, so I have my hand down here, I'm just going to press slow-mo with this one, set up my shot, make sure I like it, and then drop the leaf. You're going to want to film at least six or seven different shots with different leaves and different locations. So this is a great activity to do if you go for a fall walk because as you're going for your walk, you can pick leaves at different spots, do your slow-mo video, and then just continue on and you'll get a lot of variety. Whoa, look at this amazing find. Now, isn't this big and beautiful? Yay! <laughs> Once you get in a spot you like, you want to test it out. Is it going to look good in video? Not always does a location in real life look good on video. So let's test this one out. Ooh, it looks gorgeous. When you're filming your video, you want to make sure that your leaf is in the middle. You don't want it on the top or on the bottom. By keeping it in the middle, you're going to make sure that reels don't crop it weirdly and that it's going to be easy to spot and it's going to just look a lot nicer. So put it in the middle, press slow-mo, and drop it. Try to remember to clean your lens often while you're filming. This is going to increase your video quality. You're going to want to have a nice cover shot for this. So if you take a couple photos, you can easily add that to your reel and have your own customized cover. Find small leaves like these that you want to use. Rather than take a single leaf, take a whole bunch of them. So a whole little string of them. And this is going to add variety within shapes into your reel. Make sure that your leaf is not blurry and that it is focused when you're filming these and let go. Once you have all your clips filmed, it's a matter of reversing it and then adding them to Instagram Reels. So let's start by reversing the clips. You can't reverse the clips in your Photos app as is. Instead, you're going to have to use another app to reverse them. Personally, I like to use CapCut. CapCut is a free app that you can download and you can use it to reverse your clips quickly and easily. So enter CapCut and press plus new project and then start selecting your reels. So you can see I have a few different ones filmed here. Let's start with, let's add that. Awesome. Once you have it added, just click on the clip and then at the bottom, scroll down to reverse reverse the clip and then preview it. So let's see how this looks. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, and since you filmed it in CapCut, you can do additional editing stuff here. What I suggest, let's pause that, is that you do some um, 
adjustments, minor adjustments. What I typically like to adjust when I'm editing video is the brightness. So I'll typically increase the brightness and then the contrast, I like to increase the contrast. This way the image quality looks a little bit more crisp. So once that's done, you can, let's actually increase it just a little bit more brightest. I just like things nice and bright and colorful. Okay, once that you're happy with that, then you just wanna export that file. So we're gonna repeat that process and do the same thing for all of them. The longer the clip is, the longer it's going to take for it to load and the longer it's gonna take for it to edit. So you can cut these and shorten them beforehand, but I personally don't waste the time doing all that before I put it in here. I rather just do it once and not have to edit and keep editing them. Ooh, they're looking good. <laughs> you can add multiple videos and do it that way, but personally I prefer doing it one at a time so that way I can keep track of which ones I've added and make sure that I have all of them. Final one, okay, I almost got this. I've been considering moving my YouTube videos outside for a while now and after today I think I might Film more outside. Okay, so I have all of my clips reversed, edited. Now it's a matter of uploading them to Instagram Reels. So you're going to want to open up Instagram Reels, go into a new reel, and then to add them, you're simply gonna swipe up. So let's add this one. And you're, when you're gonna add them, you're gonna trim as you're adding them, you're trimming it so that the leaf starts while it's already in the frame and then it ends as it's fully in your hand. So you can see one and then swipe up and add the next one. And then continue the process making sure you add all of them. Once you have them all added, then you can go in and you can edit your clips. So you can press reorder and then organize them so that each shot looks a little bit different. So you go from maybe light to dark to light and then your colors and leaf sizes and shapes vary from clip to clip. Once you're done, I suggest that you first save your reel. Having a backup is great because Instagram sometimes just likes to stop working and this way you're set and you don't have to do it again. And then to add music, press the music note, music, and then you can select whichever song you think would be best, add it, and your reel is ready with music. So there you have it. Now you can create your very own fall reel. If you do, please tag me so that I can share it on my Instagram. My Instagram is wonderful underscore Ida.